Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This could be good. This could be good. Just one more moment, please. Come on. Please. V people, you're screwing up my intro here. Waiting on cars so I can turn right. Come on, hurry up. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah. Midlife loser. Well, hello to all my favorite poodles and pussies out there. How the hell you doing? I'm myself. I'm fucking super, so thanks for asking. Question of the video. As you can clearly see, over my shoulder, right? Is it over my shoulder? Hold on. There it is. With the uh, Sparker driver, you know, the Walmart delivery app, you know, some of you may be aware, you know, I'm not going to sit here and explain the whole ordeal. My question is to you, would you receive this order? As you can see, clearly it's 12 orders. It is going 43.6 miles. The pay is estimated at $51.78. Now, it could get higher than that. I mean, you could get a pretty decent pay out of this. Now, this is where I wish I did a screen recording to show all the locations, but you know, then again, I got to thinking, chances are, what is everybody that is watching this video from around here? And as I'm looking at it and knowing the area quite well in the zip codes, I'm like, holy crap, this is gonna feel like more than 46 miles. I mean, it, it, it's in here in Hebrew Heights. It's pretty much wanting to do the whole entire Dayton area. Then I got to thinking, you know, I'm not going to look any further because what if half of these are apartments and I got to go up and down stairs? And I also didn't bother paying attention to the quality count on all 12 of these. So already I'm like, nah, nah, it's not worth it. But would you, would you do this delivery? 12 orders going 43 plus miles and an estimated price of $51. You could answer it and not leave a comment. <laughs> the choice is yours. Okay, get another Uber. Hell no. $8.83 going 12.3 miles. Eh. All right, I might as well say it now. I know I released a video not too long ago about Maybe Grubhub and I should, uh, you know, take a break. Well, after about 24 hours, I realized, you know what? I might as well go ahead and log on to this app every once in a while. Take it out of the drunk drawer. Drunk? Did I say drunk drawer again? Dear Lord, I must have, you know, some Irish whiskey somewhere in the back of my mind thinking about, you know, hey, you know what? Maybe you and I should get together. So, no, the junk drawer. Sorry, I, I've got to turn off the Sparker Driver app right now. Because all it's doing is sending me the same BS offers that I do not want. I like this app at first, but I'm not becoming a big fan of it anymore. As I was saying, the uh, break between Grubhub and I, it's over with. I'm just not going to rely on it nearly as much as I used to because I know I can't depend on Grubhub like I used to. So Mr. and Mrs. Grubhub, if you heard me say that, oh well, get over it. Or I should say, you better get used to it because there's a lot of other independent contractors that signed up with you that are apparently feeling the very same way. So either get your you know what together or expect this kind of relationship. Yeah, I said it out loud, you heard me. It's even been recorded because I'm recording this conversation. Never mind. Speaking of today's weather, how's it like out there, Carl? Here's a quick look at how the uh, thunderstorms are rolling there. It's uh... <coughs> now for your 10 day forecast. The weather. Gee, what should I do? Six stars and 43 cents going 10.6 miles. 
Now here's what I'm, I'm liking. What I'm seeing. <laughs> All right, I just accepted an order, uh, Penn Station order for seven dollars. That's what it says. States right there, right? Now, if I go over to the Pair app, it's actually showing that the customer tipped six dollars and sixty cents. So it's going to be nine ten, right? According to that, it's going to be nine ten. When I'm done with this. When this is all said and done, we'll see if this is actually came to nine dollars and ten cents. It's at a house. It's supposedly seven minutes long from the. Uh... So I'm excited to see, as you can tell, see the hairs on my arm standing up. So I'm excited to see if this actually was right with the pair app. <laughs> all right, I got this Penn Station. We'll give you the results to see if this para, para, or pare, still yet to be determined on how to pronounce it. I will do a screenshot of the dasher and the para, para, pare to see if, you know, if it was lying to me. And you as well. Or did someone possibly steal? Oh, we won't go there yet because we don't have any actual proof at this moment. All right, as you can see, the hairs are standing up on my arm, still. See? All right, here we go. Do a screen record. Just dropped the food off. He's actually standing outside waiting for me. So, complete delivery. Head to the customer. Nine dollars and fifty cents. Nine dollars and fifty cents. So yes, I think. What did I say? What it was? Got it. Let's go over to Para, Para, a uh, Pare. Nine dollars and ten cents. So it was off forty cents. Technically, it was off by additional three dollars in cash. Yes, the the uh, kind and wonderful customer obviously handed me an additional three dollars in cash. You know, that doesn't happen much often, but when it does, oh yeah, you feel really good about those deliveries. In fact, Monday, I believe it was, had a really decent order. It was a good tip on it as well, and then I get there, and the guy hands me $10, well, $10, 10 ones. So I was like, I got a $17 tip. <laughs> oh, so this right here, according to the Pair app, which was pretty damn close, what was they said 610 it was actually 650 so really all in all it was nine dollars and fifty cents <coughs> for tip all right para or para or pare oh by the way i forgot to mention earlier i'm doing something different with my hair what do you think mm -hmm.